Police in South Florida are taking extra precautions at our local airports this 4th of July weekend. CBS 4's Tiani Jones joins us live from Miami International Airport. Tiani. More than 200,000 people are expected to travel through Miami and Fort Lauderdale International Airports this weekend. They'll be greeted by a security presence they may not be used to seeing. Friday, before travelers even got close to the airport, they were greeted with a security checkpoint. Dogs sweeping cars, police checking for suspicious behavior, heavily armed officers making their presence known. They're selected at random. There is no specific order or function. And what we're doing is making sure that everyone has all their credentials and they have a reason why they're coming into this airport. Once they got to the terminal, more officers, more dogs. Friday is the busiest travel day, 4th of July weekend for both Miami and Fort Lauderdale International Airports. Most travelers paying little attention to the beefed up security, simply excited to get away. I'm going home to Boston for the holiday. We're going to the Dominican Republic. I haven't been home in six years, so we're going to go visit family and so they can meet my kids. Morellas Cabrera is traveling with her two little boys. While excited, she admitted to being a little nervous coming to the airport. I've been thinking about it for a week. <laughs> Definitely keeps you up at night. You know, I don't want them to be scared. I want them to be cautious. Though. Others said they had no problem with traveling, even after the terrorist attack in one of the world's busiest airports in Turkey. That doesn't make me scared to fly. I feel safe. I don't feel unsafe. Most travelers we talk to say caution in today's world is necessary because staying at home is not an option. You have to believe in God and just go. What, what can you do? You're not going to stay home. Besides more security, more TSA agents were also brought into both airports to help with the crowds. Reporting live from MIA, Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News Tonight.